Hey everyone, we're gonna steam some milk and do some latte out of the Rancho Leo Sylvia. Had a lot of people, um, I don't want to say get hopeless, but have run out of luck trying to get microfoam and actually create latte art on the Rancho Leo Sylvia. So I've had uh, some pretty good luck with it in the past. I'm gonna show you how I do it and explain it while I'm doing it. So hopefully you can get it at home. And if you have any questions, just feel free to comment on the bottom and we'll, we'll answer your questions for you. So I always like to steam my milk first. I find it's faster to, to cool the Sylvia down um, after you steamed to then brew your espresso rather than brew your espresso and then wait for it to heat up. So we're at steam temperature. I've already poured my milk. We're just using regular 2% milk and I'm pouring just below the spout. I find that gives me enough volume to do a 10 ounce cup. So we'll go ahead and just start steaming. Also, you want to let a little bit of air out, uh, so purge the wand a little bit before you start. That's going to get rid of all the water in the lines and give you a drier steam. Latte art is done best with dry steam, so we'll just go ahead. Also, I like to put the, the spout uh, against the wand. That, I find, gives me better control when I'm steaming. On the Sylvia, especially if you don't have a base, you'll find that this kind of gets in the way. The little rubber uh, finger guard, I guess you can call it, gets in the way, so you kind of have to go above it. And then, when you steam your milk, if you think of the picture like a cross, you don't want to be right in the center, you don't want to be right against the wall, you want to be what's called 50% of the radius. So you want to be in between the center and the side of the pitcher. And when you angle it, that will help to roll the milk and give you that, that microphone we're all looking for. So that's what I'm doing. My tip is about halfway submerged, and I'm just going to... So you want to hear that sucking sound, that's called pulling. You're pulling in air to create the foam. I generally pull in air until I feel the pitcher start to get warm. Once I feel it like getting warm, I will then spend the rest of my time submerging. So it's starting to get warm now, I'm going to spend my time rolling. See how I'm not in the center, I'm not at the side, and what that's doing is that's creating the milk to roll, or causing the milk to roll. I'm also using my hand on the side as the thermometer. When it gets way too hot for me to even keep it there for a couple seconds, and before you start sounding like a rocket ship taking off, you want to stop steaming. So right now it's getting to the point where I can't keep my hand on there any longer. I'm going to turn it off. Always have your wand ready, right away. Very important that you wipe off your wand and you give it a quick purge. So number one, this milk is awesome. This is really good microphone. Should look shiny, should look like wet paint. Just the way you see it here. Another trick is after you've steamed, um, to bang the pitcher a little bit. That will get rid of any big bubbles that you have. And then to constantly swirl it. When you swirl it, what you're doing is you're not allowing the milk to separate. If the milk separates, when you go to do your pour, you're going to get steamed milk first and then a big blob of, of foam on top and you won't be able to do any designs. So while you're waiting for this to cool down, you want to continuously stir the pitcher. I always have a secondary pitcher to actually cool it down. So I'm going to take out my portafilter and use this pitcher to run some water through it. Can you see uh, how good that milk is? Shiny, like wet paint. Okay, so now you can see that when I do this, it's a steady stream. There's no, not a whole lot of water coming through. We have our brats very old. So because this video isn't all about extraction, I'm just going to really quickly uh, do this, get a shot going so we can do the art. And you always want to remember to, to twirl. If you don't twirl, you're going to separate that milk and you're not going to get that art. Now. 
You also don't want to do what I just did. We're doing it because our gasket needs to be replaced. Otherwise, it'll leak. While you're brewing your espresso, continue to. That's going to be a nice shot. So I'm going to come right through the center. Nice and gooey the way we want it. No big spritzes coming out. It looks really nice. If you could see this, it looks good. And before we start to over extract, we'll turn it off. Okay, now we have a nice thick espresso base to work with. But the whole time I've been swirling the pitcher. I think that's one of the bigger secrets to keeping your milk uh, microphone. And hopefully you can see this. And there you have some latte art on the Ranchilio Soviet.